Hi there. I thought I'd tell you about a rather unpleasant experience I had at the airfield the other day. I was flying a, a fairly new model which I'm really quite keen on and um, I probably had about seven flights and all of a sudden the plane which I thought was switched on wasn't switched on um, and I, I wasn't sure whether I'd not switched the switch fully so I checked it and all of a sudden the model came back to life and I thought I must have not put it fully on. I checked everything and uh, I took off the, um, uh, the, the wings and I checked all the connections everything seemed fine. So I had about another three flights and um, no problems at all. And then I was on the ground running the engine about to, uh, to take off just checking the throws and everything went dead again. I, I lost the throttle, I lost all the servos, everything. And I flipped the switch backwards and forwards, nothing happened and I thought well I really can't fly this because I've got a problem here. And I thought I'd got a problem with the switch because earlier on when I just wiggled the switch it came back on. So when I got back to the workshop I changed the switch for, and we're talking about the switch for the radio gear here, and everything seemed fine. And uh, incidentally, before I took that plane to the airfield, I charged the, the battery up. The, it's a five cell nickel metal hydride, and I charged it up, and it was holding its charge, no problem. So anyway, I got back to the workshop and changed the switch. I was just checking the throws because I wanted to increase them a little bit and all of a sudden everything went dead again. And it transpired to cut a long story short that the five cell nickel metal hydride battery pack had stopped working. If I take it out of the plane and I check the voltage, I've got, I, I can't remember what it was, six and a half, seven volts, something like that. But as soon as I put it under load, even the small load of the, the receiver, it just collapsed and died. Which was quite scary really because I'm so lucky having had about 10 flights that day that this didn't happen in the air. And, and funny enough, it was only about a week later that a, a friend of mine was flying uh, a lovely hurricane and his uh, battery pack died in the air and, and it, it wasn't pleasant unfortunately. So it set me thinking about these battery packs and how long I'd had them. When I bought them, they were fairly decent battery packs, but I bought them about four years ago. And I've been charging them and cycling them to try and keep them healthy ever since. And I've had absolutely no problems. And I was under the impression that if there was going to be a problem, they would slowly start to lose their charge, not hold their charge. In my kind of naivety, I didn't realise that nickel metal hydride like this would just suddenly collapse and die on me which this had evidently done. So, as I had had this for about four years, and I've got about four or five other batteries, exactly the same as this, that I bought around the same time, I thought, well, can I check these, check the, the um, state of them? I looked online, and it, it's actually quite difficult, as I understand it, to, to assess the, the uh, condition of them and whether they're going to fail. So I thought, well, I'm just going to buy a load of new batteries. I've got some really good quality Panasonic N Loop. I've got the big five cells for my larger RC planes. And I've got some smaller five and four cells, which I'm going to use in my vintage kind of radio assist. So I'm just, I'm just cycling these now and charging them up ready to, to put in the models. But it seems a shame because the batteries I'm taking out, the uh, four year old batteries, are actually working fine and it seems a shame to just throw them away. So what I've done is this was a five cell which I've now converted to four cell and as I said it's working fine but I don't trust it. So I'm going to use this to run my servo tester. In the past I used dry cells in a, a, a battery um, uh, case thing. So I'm not recycling them, I'm going to reuse them in different non-critical roles. Uh, I will eventually recycle them and these that fail will definitely get recycled. 
But yeah, I'm going to reuse them in non-critical roles. So I've got this one for my servo tester. The next one that comes out of a model, I'm going to use, I'll put three cells together to make a battery pack for my spark ignition system, for my sparky engines when I've got them on the test stand. I could even use them in the, in the models because at the end of the day, if they fail, it'll just cut out the engine. Um, but I'll see about that. But it's nice if we can try and reuse these things rather than just binning them. But it's good to get some new batteries and feel confident about these. So I thought I would just recount this story of, of what happened to me in the hope that if you haven't thought about your flight batteries in a while and you've had them a while, maybe it's worth starting to think about changing them because like with these, I never oh, sorry, the, these. I never uh, thought it would fail just catastrophically like that, which it obviously did. And I don't know whether I said this, but I had re uh, cycled this and charged it before I took it to the airfield in that plane, thinking it was good. So anyway, I hope you find this kind of useful, and um, I hope it's food for thought. And if it saves just one model from plummeting out the sky, then that's a good thing. So thanks very much for watching.